So uh, in this week's IOT head shaker, mm. uh, we answer the question, what are cloud pets? So get this. The idea is that friends or relatives can use the Cloud Pets smartphone app to record an audio message oh. <laughs> and send it to an app on the parent's phone. The app then uploads the audio to the plush toy, a teddy bear. Apparently, you can get a unicorn. One of the security researchers said, oh, I decided I would, would buy a unicorn uh, in order to look into this further using Bluetooth LE. When the child presses the animal's right paw, it will play back the message, you know, from grandma or whomever. They can then record their own reply message by pressing the, the teddy bear's left paw. The app then, the, the iPhone app then retrieves the audio via Bluetooth from the plush toy and sends it back to the friend or relative. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, yes. Motherboard reports a company that sells internet-connected teddy bears that allows kids and their faraway parents to exchange heartfelt messages left more than 800,000 customer credentials. That's a popular plush toy. As well as 2 million message recordings totally exposed online for anyone to see and listen to. Since Christmas Day of last year, and at least until the first week of January, Spiral Toys, and I won't make any jokes about Spiral, where they're spiraling, uh, left customer data of its Cloud Pets brand on a database that wasn't behind a firewall or password protected. The MongoDB was easy to find using Shodan, a search engine that makes it easy to find unprotected websites and servers, according to several security researchers who found and inspected the data. The exposed data included more than 800,000 emails and passwords, which are secured with the strong and thus supposedly harder to crack hashing function bcrypt. That's a good uh, PBKDF, password-based key derivation function, which makes it more difficult to brute force. Unfortunately, however, a large number of these passwords were so weak that it's possible to crack them anyway, according to Troy Hunt, a security researcher who maintains Have I Been Pwned and has analyzed the Cloud Pets data. A different researcher just this morning, Tuesday morning, um, posted, uh, his name is Paul Stone. He's with the UK-based security firm Context. He said, uh, his post was hacking unicorns with web Bluetooth. And I won't go into the details, but suffice to say, for an unknown reason, this these pets do not use any pairing. So anyone within Bluetooth LE range or longer if you have a directional or higher gain antenna is able to connect to a child's cloud pet and upload uh, their own content. Yes, and that video is pretty funny. He's got the the Daleks saying, you know, uh, one of their uh, expressions in a menacing fashion. It's coming from Kayla the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you want your infant to be exposed to necessarily. Destroy, destroy. 